Uh, well, today I just wanted to show you guys this neat little unit. Uh, it is amongst uh, a bunch of uh, really old tools I inherited along the way, and I never really played with it or took a close look at it. It's got some kind of fluid in it. And just for fun the other day, I pumped up this little pump and opened up this valve here, and some juice started squirting out a little bit. And I checked it, it was actually flammable. I think it's gasoline. <laughs> I didn't put it in, so it's got to be pretty old. So before I went too far with it, I, I poked around online and I found out a few things about it. This is a, a Butler 151 model blowtorch. And the Butler company made these from about 1939, 1940, uh, up until the 70s. Uh, yeah, early 70s, I think maybe 74. This one was made for the Coleman company. Now, what I found out, two components you want to check on these before you start playing around with them too much are th this tube here you can unthread this this unit slides out and there's a check valve at the bottom you want to check the other thing you can check is just with this this knurled cap here you can unscrew it and inside you'll find a little leather seal now I noticed right away as you might that it's in good shape but it's very dry so I'm gonna put a little bit of motor oil on it and I'll let it soak for a little bit and then we can pump it up and see if this thing runs now this thing actually turned out to be a lot older than I expected it to be uh, even though this logo was very hard to make out over the years they changed and this particular logo appeared on torches that were made prior to 1949 I expected this to be a later one, like from the 60s or 70s, but no, it's old. There we go. That's all we're going to do. And uh, I'll just wipe off the excess, and I'll let it sit for a bit and soak. That ought to work. So you got to start out by pumping this up a, a whole bunch. I don't actually know how many times you're supposed to pump it. Um, so I'm just going to guess. Okay, after it's pumped up, you can crack this open and the fluid will come out and fill that little reservoir. You can also just pour it in yourself if you want. So this is the easiest way to do it. Just let it fill itself up. You want to make sure you pump this up adequately to start with because it's not a good idea to pump it again once it's lit just in case there is a leak in that check valve and it sprays some gas vapor up that could hurt you. It's probably not going to blow the thing up, but you could burn yourself. Well, this is doing a terrible fucking job. Okay. Um, the fuel is just leaking all over the fucking place. What the fuck? Oh, lots of pressure in there, so I think that's okay. Maybe we'll just uh, light it and see what happens. Whew. Yeah, see that fuel? That stuff's getting everywhere. It shouldn't be down here. That's bad. Hopefully that burns off quick. Yeah, looks like it is. Okay. This one may be okay. Now, I saw one person light a, a torch similar to this. Uh, he lit the base, and then he opened it up. And some people said, oh, you shouldn't do that, but... I don't think that was such a bad idea. It seemed like it kind of helped prime it a little faster. Maybe we'll try that and see what happens. Ooh. Cool. Oh, it's trying to start. This is exciting. Wow. Who knows how long it's been since this was last used. Could be decades. Probably decades. Turn her up a little bit. Can't believe this is working. Now you'd use something like this a lot of times in soldering, maybe some brazing, um, but I think primarily soldering, maybe heating up uh, things like rivets. Something like this would have come in handy, I'm sure. This is amazing. Yeah, she fucking works. There you go, antique blowtorch. More or less working. This definitely isn't operating uh, the full <laughs> that I've seen them, but since this is the first time I've lit it, I don't want to turn it up, piss it around too much. It sounds like it's trying to do some of that blowtorch action there. 
that's pretty exciting. I, I'm ama and this fuel is super old too, so maybe it's not as good. It doesn't stink or anything like old gas does, so it might not even be gas. Well, that's about the gist of it. I think uh, maybe the fuel is just a little too old for this, and it's possible maybe the little schnoz was a bit gummed up. But I'm gonna play with this some more. I'll get it running. I think that's a pretty good demonstration for how one of these works. No fires. Nobody blew up. Good stuff. Thanks for watching.